Jeremiah has been given a massive authority here. So you see there, the verse 10 goes on to say he will uproot, demolish, and plant kingdoms even. Uh, that word planted reminds me of a passage we use in Isaiah 51. I have put my words in your mouth. So God here speaking to a person in this section of Isaiah, by the way, Isaiah 51 is part of the suffering servant so-called cycle that starts in, what is it? 42, 43, climaxes in the great chapter 53. So here he's speaking to this human servant, God, verse 16. So he will put his words in his mouth, covered you in the shadow of my hand in order to plant the heavens, to found the earth, to say to Zion, you are my people. So that's a quite an uh, uh, interesting parallel there with Jeremiah and the so-called suffering servant of Isaiah, which originally is a prophecy to the nation of Israel, but then the New Testament writers use it obviously for the Messiah, Jesus himself. And if I may show you this interesting comment from a scholar called Motier, an introduction commentary to the prophecy of Isaiah, to plant in this verse is well established as a metaphor to begin anew, de novo, or to set firmly in place. So the servant in Isaiah is the point of origin of a new cosmic reality embracing heaven and earth. Jeremiah 1.9 and following was gifted with the Lord's word to plant kingdoms, but the servant of Isaiah prophecy will plant heavens doing the creatorial work which the Bible reserves for God himself. The agent of Yahweh, the agent of the Lord God, is sometimes as God himself. He's even portrayed as a creator, someone who not only destroys in the case of Jeremiah, but also someone who establishes or plans or guess what? Creates anew, restores, right? This is what the whole kingdom good news is all about. So here to take it back to Jeremiah, it's interesting the parallelisms with the suffering servant, which obviously leads inevitably to the Messiah in the great prophecy of Hebrews chapter one, God speaking about his son. And he says that in the beginning, Lord, that is the Lord Messiah, you established or you will plant the earth. 